Okay, here we go with another album thoughts review and discussion. This time we're talking about the second album by Megadeth called Peace Sells But Who's Buying, released in 1986. So uh, I purchased this album as a special import, which uh, at the time I thought was going to work fine on my computer, but it didn't actually import the tracks. So I wasn't able to listen to it other than on the CD player. So where I did most of my listening at the time was on my computer and in the car. So I didn't actually get to listen to this album straight away um, or repeatedly. Since then, I've picked up the vinyl of it, which I've listened to many times. Uh, some of my highlights on the album are obviously uh, Peace Cells, I Love, Devil's Island and My Last Words. Um, I think that's really interesting that they went with Wake Up Dead as the opening track to the album because there's not actually that many lyrics in the song and it's mainly just a display of their musical talents and shredding guitars and lyrics. Um, as for the lyrics, they're very dark, um, somewhat political on this album um, and I guess in the fan base of Megadeth this one is seen as one of the more popular albums. Um, I guess they're all classics now, but yeah. So, it is the second album. After Killing Is My Business was released, I don't think many people took to that album as much as they took to this one. It, this one has a little bit more of a flavour of the Metallica style, which I think really introduced a lot of people to this band, um, his relationship to Metallica. So, yeah. The album was produced by, well, co-produced by Dave Mustaine. Um, so, it is very similar to I guess that Metallica sound because obviously they worked together and they founded that style of playing um, and singing which if you listen to Peace Cells um, and the outro past the second chorus I think it does sound a lot like a Metallica song um, and that's okay because you know obviously they, they both founded that band so he's allowed to do whatever he wants really um, although it does stray away you know I don't think uh, there's a lot on the album that says that he's trying to be a lot like Metallica. It is a lot faster than a lot of the Metallica stuff. Uh, but it is very different. I mean, obviously there's many similarities, but it is different at the same time. So yeah, um, so there's two sides on the vinyl. First side has four tracks, same with the second side. Uh, the Basically side one, Wake Up Dead, The Conjuring, Peace Cells and Devil's Island. Side two, Good Morning Black Friday, Bad Omen and I Am Substitious and lastly My Last Words. Now probably uh, each of the times I've seen Megadeth play they've only done Peace Cells. Uh, I th actually I think they did Wake Up Dead when I saw them at Festival Hall this year but I can't really remember. Um, but yeah they always do Peace Cells usually as the second last uh, <laughs> some skidrows coming. The second last track or the last to finish out the show so as it's pretty public knowledge that Lars Aldrich states that this is the album which he liked the most from Megadeth when they were both competing in the early days um, and yeah I really like it because it's fast and I just I really like Dave Mustaine's voice on it the first album to me didn't sound as well produced as this one um, the bass is really prominent on this one it sounds great in um, Devil's Island, it's fantastic. Wake Up Dead, it's awesome. Um, I think that they more had more influenced by the bass in their songs rather than with. Um, I know in the later Metallica albums, even though I'm comparing the two because it's sort of the only two bands that were really doing the same sort of thing at the time, they sort of uh, tuned, well, not tuned down, toned down their bass, uh, whereas Megadeth really push that to the forefront of their songs to really have a blend of the two, three guitars, so um, yeah, but in terms of classification, it doesn't really mean anything, um, it went platinum in the States, well according to Wikipedia anyway, platinum in the States, silver in the United Kingdom and platinum in Canada, I don't know if that's true or what, um, yeah, it's probably a lot different these days, I don't know if this is, doesn't say anything about when it's been updated, but yeah, um, other than that, yeah, I just, I think it's, the album just flows and it's got a great sound to it. As I said, it's very dark, but it is traditional thrash metal, so 
um, worth checking out. Uh, definitely one of my favourites. Probably look to probably to say I like the Killing It by Business album a little bit more, just because it's so raw. I love that raw sound of it, and it's also you can hear the anger in his voice when he's obviously just been kicked out of the original band he was in and had something to prove. And mechanics on that is just a fantastic song, but. Yeah, Peace Cells, it's awesome. It's got some great bass parts. The Even the main choruses and the main riffs sound like solos uh, in some like lead guitar parts where it should be rhythm. Um, as I said, the vocals are great. Um, yeah, it's, it sounds well produced. It is very raw. I don't think they hit the nail on the head in terms of getting the sound right until they did So Far So... Well, even So Far So Good doesn't sound fantastic, but when they hit the Rust and Peace, that was when they were doing in my eyes or my ears really the the great sounding production that we got on the further albums from there so yeah uh, i know that they've just celebrated the 25th anniversary of this album so it's uh it's quite old <laughs> so yeah i mean i didn't grow up with this kind of music i only really got into megadeth say oh, around 2005 ish um and this was as i said even though i purchased this album fairly early in my building of this collection, because I don't believe in downloading music, um, I didn't listen to it until I really got a way to convert it to have it on my iPod. So as far as I was aware, I only heard those songs that were on this album, uh, either live versions or watching it on YouTube. But yeah, I was, because I had Killing Is My Business as well, that was of the one I pretty much played the most. Um, I remember putting on the title track for Peace Sells at Who's Buying when I was uh, with a few friends and they thought it was a Metallica song and I got out of chip chuckle to myself. But, uh -huh. um, yeah, so a great album. Uh, definitely worth a listen. And yeah, thanks for stopping by. This is just a few of my thoughts. Cheers.